No mindless debates, no manipulated stories, and no taking sides. We pick stories that the mainstream media does not. The current state of things picks that one story for the week that really matters. Find out the story behind the story in the current state of things with me, Vikram Pratap Singh, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Let me begin by quoting a National Herald report. There is no objective truth but a lot of malice. There is no accountability but to serve the regime. This crisis of Indian media is writing a new history that recommends the death of critical journalism with constant manufactured opinion and no accountability. Media as propaganda is quite inherent to its functioning but this nakedness of representing the regime's voice against the objective truth is killing Indian democracy all in the name of freedom of the press. This crisis has ceased to become a disease now. News anchors have become judge and pass their judgment shamelessly without any ethical consideration. This making of new history is to make people consumers than citizens whose only job is to remain a passive entity. It is eroding India's democratic credentials. News has lost its worthiness and the priorities are shifted from people to serve the regime and its supported business houses that control and set the agenda, all in the name of freedom of the press. Close quotes. But how did it all happen? What or who are responsible for this? Misinformation is bombarded repeatedly, resulting in manufactured public opinion, and the ones who try to think independently are frowned upon as anti nationals and made to look like enemy of the nation. This has to stop. This needs to stop. I will again quote the National Herald article. The whole narrative about JNU as a hotbed of anti-national activities has been sold as a reality. This whole madness has made an institution an enemy of its own people who should have celebrated it beyond the wall of any ideological lens. Do these media houses ever produce a government source to verify their own claim? Close quotes. I have a very serious question. Why have the regulatory bodies failed to stop biased channels distributing misinformation? Now let us look into some of the IPC Acts. Section 505.1 of Indian Penal Code, 1860. Whoever by making, publishing or circulating any statement, rumor or report which may cause fear for an alarm to the public or to any section of the public shall be punished with imprisonment which may extend to three years, or with fine, or with both. Section 153 of Indian Penal Code Whoever malignantly or wantonly, by doing anything illegal, gives provocation to any person intending or knowing it to be likely that such provocation will cause the offence of writing to be committed, shall, if the offence of writing be committed, in consequence of such provocation be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to one year, or with fine, or with both, and if the offence of writing be not committed with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to six months, or with fine, or with both. Well, as you can see, there is a need for stricter laws to govern the press. It is also up to us to choose. We need to wake up and act. We need to start thinking and stop consuming. Bye for now.